Welcome to From the Drive Shed. Today we're talking about a new dicamba tolerant system that's designed to help growers maximize weed control in soybeans. To explain this important technological advancement, here's Dr. Peter Sikama. There are a number of benefits of DT soybeans to Ontario producers. One, the addition of dicamba to glyphosate will improve the control of weeds that are naturally tolerant to glyphosate and will reduce the selection intensity for additional glyphosate resistant weeds in the province. Dicamba will also provide short residual broadleaf weed control and finally there's excellent tolerance in DT soybeans to a tank mix of Roundup plus dicamba. The key weeds that have resistance to glyphosate in Ontario giant ragweed, Canada fleabane, common ragweed, and water hemp. Based on our research, I really think that it's important that farmers incorporate dicamba as part of an overall weed management strategy in their diverse crop rotation. I think going forward, it's gonna be very important that growers do not rely on dicamba exclusively as their weed management program, and so, I really find value in the two-pass uh, weed control program where you put down a pre-planned application with residual activity and then you apply a post-emergence application to clean up any weed escapes. Let's hear a little about how kicks or herbicides can help growers manage tough weed problems from Rob Miller, Technical Development Manager at BASF. The active ingredient in Kixor is safufenicil, a group 14 PPO inhibitor that provides both rapid burn down and residual control of key broadleaf weeds. Each member of the Kixor family of products has its own unique property. The first one is Aragon LQ, a new liquid formulation that provides rapid activity and burn down of key broadleaf weeds ahead of your soybeans. The second one is Integrity, a combination of Frontier Max and Kixor, which provides both rapid burn down and short-term residual control of grasses and also very flexible follow crop options. The third one is Optil herbicide, a combination of Pursuit and Kixor, which provides multiple modes of action on key broadleaf weeds. It also provides residual weed control during that critical weed-free period of the first or the third trifoliate and maximizes your yield potential. We've done a number of research trials over the last couple years on dicamba tolerant soybeans. And what we found is when you use a Kixor product in conjunction with dicamba and glyphosate, you get most consistent control of tough broadleaf weeds, including herbicide tolerant species, and it also maximizes your yield potential. Growers must adhere to specific application guidelines in order to use dicamba responsibly. With more on that, here again is Rob Miller. The best management practices include wind speed. You want to apply dicamba when wind speeds are between 3 and 16 kilometers an hour, and you'll also want to avoid applying dicamba in periods of dead calm. Boom height. The boom should be about 50 centimeters above the crop canopy to improve coverage. Ground speed is another factor. Do not exceed 25 kilometers an hour ground speed. Nozzle selection. Select nozzles with the largest droplet size. And last, identify neighboring crop species. Identifying those neighboring crop species will make you more aware of your surroundings and adjust your application techniques accordingly. All these best management practices will help minimize the off-target movement of dicamba and also maximize your weed control. Next up, we'll hear from Tom Wolf of Agrometrics Research and Training about nozzle technology designed to help growers adhere to application guidelines for dicamba. When we tank mix dicamba with glyphosate, we have to now look at the needs of dicamba. We're trying to protect uh, off-target areas from dicamba drift. The best way to do that is with larger droplets. So more water actually allows us more freedom to use larger droplets to maintain good coverage. Remember, there will be small weeds there. We need certain numbers of droplets. More water gives you more droplets, even when those droplets are large. In order to achieve top-notch control of weeds in dicamba-tolerant soybeans, growers can rely on BASF for products and advice. As the trusted advisor to Canadian growers, we offer a broad range of solutions to help them maximize dicamba-tolerant soybean crops and more. Until next time, on behalf of BASF, I wish you continued success from the Drive Shed.